Okay, guys, welcome to the Banjo Kazooie finale. Haha. <laughs> well, technically, it's not the finale because I'm doing extras, but it's pretty much the finale of the main story. So, anyways, first off, you can jump on here. No reason you can. Also, another thing you can go down these stairs and you can touch the board. You can get the light. Or the pieces, art pieces, ankle pieces, I mean. I don't know if the fire can hurt you, but, uh, you can go around grabbing trophies or whatever. I'm not gonna bother. But, you can if you want. Alrighty, let's move on to the next. What? What? Okay. That was weird. Anyways. And as you can tell, they're connected now. You go through here to get back to... Let's just jump in there. So... Yeah, that's if um, you jump into it. And then... You're, or no, you get here and you're like, 810. I don't have that much music notes. So, that's there if you need to. You can jump up here, get an extra life. Uh, I have all the music notes. And let's see, what else do we have? We have the, the laboratory, but we don't see the one guy. We don't see the big scientist guy, I forget his name, Conker or whatever. But yeah, we can see the laboratory, the things. Nothing really too impressive. Just if you were curious. So we need 10, I think, or 20 for that. I forget, we'll check in a second, so we can't get through this lock up here. But, uh, yeah, that credits was for if you didn't get everything. So we needed 25 to get through here. Also, if you did not get 900 notes, you need 846 for this one. Which that red, big red feather gave us all the red feathers. This one's gold feathers, you need 864 for this. So you get all your gold feathers. 828 for blue eggs. Uh, I had it already full eggs, and for 882, we get to go into here uh, to do one last puzzle. This puzzle requires, let's see, four pieces. So, yeah, we have an extra jiggy. Uh, also, no matter if you take the jigsaw piece or not from the walrus, he will always have that jigsaw piece. I like visitors. It's a wonder you get any sewer prep. Ah, uh, what does strange birdie thing mean? Er, she said that we're looking for Gruntilda. Do you know where she is? I sure do, Mr. Bear. The gun feels awful. I was sick. Oh, yeah, she threw up in this pot. So this uh, cauldron is her main cauldron, which does something. Uh -huh. 
So yeah, if you need a refill on gold feathers, right there, red feathers, blue eggs, so let's do this. Alright, so let's go into the pot. And this one shoots us up into the air to bring us to the last boss fight of the game. Gruntilda. And also, uh, that red health gives us um, an extra set of health, so it's basically it's kind of like the half damage or the better defense in Zelda. So what she'll do for the first phase is she'll try to run into you with the broom. What you do is you move to the left, basically. If you move to the right, I think it's fine too, but she might end up hurting it. So you just jump up and you can hit her. You can also shoot eggs at her, but it doesn't really matter. It takes three hits to get her, I think. I forget how many exactly. But it takes a good amount of hits to get her. There's other items up here, like eggs, red feathers, and gold feathers. So, if you run low. Anyway, so after a while, I think I might be lost it. You saw me on. And I actually kind of don't like this boss fight. For reasons we'll see later on. And that should finish it. And that should give me the health I need. Oh yeah, after you hit her enough times, she'll send a thing. Just use invincibility to destroy it. Pretty much, that's all you do. So now she's just gonna stay farther away so we can't hit her. So you just send three eggs at her every time she goes to the spot. You can do four at once. And all four can hit her. But, you know. It's just, if you want to be careful about your health. <laughs> Sooner or later, she will get done with this fate. Oh god. Yeah, sooner or later she'll get done with this phase. If she would just please stop. Oh god. There we go. Uh, I will be back in that fight once again. I got him. What's up, Link? Okay, so anyways, back to the fight. Now here's where things get a little more complicated, but not really. So be careful about this, is if you touch the ground and then you fall off the actual building, you'll die. Which is one of the more annoying things that can happen in this fight. Trust me, I have actually died on this part because I got hit and then I was too low and it fell and died. I got hit, touched the ground, and then I uh, slid all the way to my death. So yeah, try to stay away from the edges because they can screw you over. Alright. And it's kind of hard to hit her because she's moving. I mean, yes, you can wait till she stops moving and then target her. No, 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 I don't like this. Yeah, stay far away from the edge if you're flying. Because you might touch it and then you might fall off. 
kind of like that, except I didn't fall off. Oh, there's my health. It stays there as long as I want it. Don't get it, I mean. So, yep. Let's do this. Oh, you I hate flying because it's such a weird thing. Oh, it's such a weird thing to do in this. I mean, you're so used to it by now, but it just feels weird. Oh, thank god. Uh, just really weird to do. So it's just keep sending fireballs at you. I think they increase the more damage you do. I hit you. That's such bull. Gosh. I hate targeting down diagonally because I can end up hitting the castle. Oh, so like she's done with this phase. So just dodge her for right now. And then the Jinjos come to help. Uh, I tried looking this up to see if they come, if, you, if they only come when you get all the Jinjos. I couldn't find my answer, so it's beyond, it's beyond my knowledge. And will you please, with the fireballs. I hate this. Oh, I didn't. I thought that was weird. I thought. Oh, okay. Well, you have to shoot enough eggs into the things to actually. She has never had this good of action. Okay, we did it. We have half our health almost. Ah, you hate you so much, Gunpowder. Now, for the hardest part of this fight that I personally hate so much. And then she'll send that at you. Guard. I am the Might Ginjonator. Activate me. And I forgot it still goes through there. Oh, I already cleared that one. I guess you can do it this way. So just dodge the fireballs and try to get her to shoot the green thing. And that's the perfect time to get the eggs in. There we go. I did it. Oh, one health left. Oh god. Oh god. I really didn't want to die. Good. Good, good, good. And this is what happens. You beat Gruntilda by using the Junjonator.
And with a final Kamehameha! No, just kidding. He's just gonna ramble again. to a certain degree of fat that you can bust through ground. So, before I let you guys off here, this ending that we're about to see always happens, no matter if you get the sw stuff to swap items or not. So, enjoy! Oh, please, though. Ding pot. Oh, there's Conga. Big butt.
Oh man. Zubaz Grubblin Hood. Uh, okay. Whip crack. Yeah, that jigsaw piece is always there. Cheeto. What's he walking around the island? I mean, that's the second time we saw her. Nine of them. Come, come, and go up, come, and come, go up, come, go up, come, up, come, up, and up. What? And go, and go, and go, up, come, go. What? So anyways, the pictures are just the stop and swap items they are used for different I places and whatever. Nothing really important. I am not going to do this all over again just to show off that ending. But he'll be like, oh, there's a, a there's something inside the shark island. There's something somewhere else. Alright, where- okay. Alright, where is that last jiggy? Uh, there it is. Okay. Oh, here's the last jiggy. 